Hello friends and welcome back. So today we will understand how to encrypt data on your pen drive or any other flash drive using Windows BitLocker which is an inbuilt feature of Microsoft Windows. We will also understand how this complete process works. So without wasting any time, grab your laptop and let's start. Okay, so first you have to connect the pen drive which you want to encrypt. So let's connect the pen drive. So as you can see, we have connected the USB drive which is of 4GB, which is E and there is no data in this drive. Okay. So first we will put some data in this drive. So let's put in some pictures and audio. So I have already created this folder for testing purposes. So one is mp3, one is video and two are pictures. So I'll just drag and drop it into the pen drive. Fine, so now we have four files in our USB drive. Now, how to encrypt it using the BitLocker, which is already inbuilt in Microsoft Windows. So you have to right click on USB drive and then navigate to the option turn on BitLocker. Once you do that, it will start BitLocker and it will prompt you to enter the password. So this password will be used to unlock the drive. So we'll just put in the password. Remember it should be of 10 characters and should contain uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers as you already know password guidelines. Then we'll click on next. Now it is asking to back up the recovery keys. Suppose in case you forgot the password then there is no chance to get it recovered unless you know the recovery keys. So either you can save it to Microsoft account, save it to any file or print the recovery key. So we are just going to go and save it to a file. Then select the location X desktop and create a new folder. Bit locker key. Just open and save. So this is just a text file, a notepad file which is generated which will contain your recovery key. We'll also go and see how the recovery key looks like. So then go to next, choose how much of the drive to encrypt. So this option is asking whether you want to encrypt the complete drive or if you wish to encrypt only the data which is stored on this drive. So whenever you use any new drive, then it's recommended to only encrypt the data which is used. But if it is an older drive, then you should encrypt the complete drive because if you have deleted any data that is still not erased completely from the drive. So that's why it is recommended. So since it is a new drive, we'll just encrypt the disk space which is used. It is fast, right? Encrypting complete drive is a slower process, right? Okay, so click on next. Choose which encryption mode to use. So the new encryption mode works on Windows 10 and above. And if you are going to use your drive on the older version of Windows, then you should use the compatible mode. So, we'll use the compatible mode. Then, are you ready to encrypt this drive? So, yes, we are ready. Start encrypting. Now, you can see the drive is encrypting. So as you can see the encryption is complete. Now we will safely eject this drive. Now we have ejected the drive. We will go to the another laptop and then we will plug in this drive and then we will see whether we were able to decrypt it using the recovery key and the password as well. So I'll just quickly show you how the recovery key looks like. So we saved it on the desktop. Go to the recovery key. And if you open this is a text document. It says BitLocker encryption recovery key. So identifier, this is an identifier. 
this means that when you will plug in the USB drive and select the option for recovery key then there will be identifier which says which recovery key to use suppose there are number of USB drives which you are using and you don't know what is the recovery key for what so this is an identifier which will identify which recovery key to be used so we will decrypt this pen drive using the password as well as the recovery key okay so this is the recovery key copy and I'll share it on the other desktop and see you there okay guys so we are on the new system now now we will try to plug in the device and decrypt the data so just simply plug in the USB drive now you can see the prompt that this drive is BitLocker protected so go to the drive you can see that it is not showing any storage what is the space storage this there is a lock icon on this drive so this means that this drive is encrypted and if you try to open this drive then you will be prompted to enter the password and you can also enter the recovery key if you have the recovery key so this is the key identifier which we discussed some time back in the bit bitlocker recovery key so by this you can identify that what recovery key you need to enter so instead of using the password which we created i remember the password which i created so instead of using that we will use the recovery key to decrypt this device okay now we have this bitlocker recovery key which we saved just copy this key go to the usb drive unlock drive either enter the password if you remember or enter the recovery key so we will enter the recovery key with this identifier which we already discussed so this is the recovery key just copy and paste and unlock so as soon as you unlock the lock icon will open the usb drive will show the storage space and if you go in there and see all the files you are able to see all the files right so this is how the encryption and decryption using bitlocker works now there might be different questions which are coming to your mind like which type of encryption is used in this is it symmetric or asymmetric or does password work same as decryption key so let's understand all those in details bitlocker primarily uses symmetric encryption meaning that the same key is used to both encrypt and decrypt your data and it uses advanced encryption standard algorithm which is used with 128 bit or 256 bit key The password you set for BitLocker doesn't directly encrypt the data. Instead, it is used to protect the actual encryption key. So basically, how it works is BitLocker generates a full volume encryption key. This key is used to encrypt the entire drive. And the full volume encryption key is then encrypted itself using another key which is derived from your password so the encrypted full volume encryption key is stored on the drive itself right and when you enter the correct password bitlocker uses it to decrypt the full volume encryption key and once the full volume encryption key is decrypted then it can be used to decrypt the actual data on the drive right i hope you are understanding what i am trying to explain right so this is a two layered approach even if someone access the encrypted full volume encryption key they would still need your password to decrypt it right so basically your password is used to protect the key that actually encrypts and decrypts the data does this mean that encrypted data and the decryption key both are on the same drive itself 
so yes you are absolutely right both the encrypted data and the information needed to decrypt it are stored on the same drive and if you want to understand more in details about encryption and decryption how it works how keys are shared then you can refer to my earlier video on encryption with detailed explanation since both encrypted data and the decryption key are stored on the same drive you don't have to carry a separate usb with the decryption key every time you want to access your files right but isn't it a security risk you might be thinking if everything is on the same drive what's stopping someone from just taking the drive and getting the data so that's where the clever design of bitlocker comes in which we already discussed right the full volume encryption key is itself encrypted using a key derived from your password and this encrypted full volume encryption key is what stored on the drive not the actual key which is your password right bitlocker also protects against tampering using the hash function you are always sure that any data in your drive hasn't been modified so guys this is all i wanted to discuss today i hope you found this video interesting with some practical insights so in our upcoming videos also we'll try to demonstrate live on the system how things actually work and also understand the logic behind them so do follow and subscribe for regular such updates and videos